everybody! Welcome back. It's Monster Train. We, like, just destroyed the last run. I'm almost embarrassed by, by how easy it was. I feel like I did nothing. I had to calculate nothing. There was no mathematics involved. Let's depart on a random journey. That you know is gonna be a woken hellhorn because that's what we random a lot of the time. But we, I don't know how long it's been since we had an awoken champion win. We gotta be getting there. I think we've been doing a little bit better. Um, Glimmer is a, is a lovely card. Fledgling Imp, I think could be pretty good. It counters sap maybe a little bit, but we want some big bodies to, to get over sap for sure. And um, I really want spikes. I gotta be honest, I really want spikes. We don't get spikes, instead we get draw. A tanky draw heavy unit. I still have to feel like Rejuvenate is, is better, but we might try to get some mixed use going on here, you know what I mean? Re th these are both great. Sap Tap uh, and Regen gets plus one health per stack. I think getting the draw out of Regen is probably a little bit more valuable. That's how I feel about this, and we'll start here. Um, we don't mind this, especially because we have two Glimmers in our deck. The Glimmers are going to just wipe any units that have less than 3 HP. <clears throat> I'm just thinking about how to how to make my champion live. I think you do well up here with one of these and one of these. And then um, we might as well put a train steward there to, to keep him busy. It's not an ideal draw, um, but really one glimmer puts us in a, a really nice spot here. And we actually got two glimmers, so even better. Um, beautiful. Uh, and you guys are... you're, you're chunking. You're chunking away here. Uh, I don't really care about the healer so much at this point. I care more about um, about stopping this guy right here. I guess that would have killed the healer regardless, it's true. Um, surely you gotta put a train steward down here, that's gotta be your play. Our, our whole game plan is just to slow down the champ enough that we can, we can toast them at the top, you know what I mean? Uh, let's get a little rage going up at the top as well. At least we're doing a little damage now. And, uh... Also hit you with one of those. Now you're dying! That's fantastic news. <laughs> I don't care about the imp dying. That doesn't bother me at all. So how are you doing? You got... Okay, you make our deck worse, which is annoying. Um, you've definitely gotta go. You're not dying. Now you're dying. Do we care about adding even more rage? Or would we rather have one more train steward? Honestly, I think putting the rage on these guys... Yeah, that, that moves in enough for me to be stoked. We should have no problems here. Considering we had the trial on, I don't think this was really that bad. Um, you have no regen on you, which sucks. But I think we'll just do this and this to at least get a little extra damage next turn. You're only taking 50, which sucks. Um, I am wondering... Well, we don't really need that. I think we do it this way. Now you're dead. Okay. Good, good, good. And are you are you proud of me? Are you proud of me, Papa? We used our tank properly. What a world. And the train steward did the... It, it did enough of a kicker with the damage to be stoked. Um, I feel like this is our choice, like, every single time. And I feel like I always choose the sap because it benefits our champ so much. Um, it's a tough choice. I really can't believe we've never won with Vent, but I, I feel like we don't need Vent in this deck because uh, with Vent in the deck, we, we might, we'd prefer Glimmer, it hits too many things for us. You know, it gives us the regen, um, it gives us uh, Sap tap draw. I actually think we might be able to to go with ritual of battle here. Oh, the cat is is unhappy. Um, and I want to make it cheaper, but more than that, I want to get a unit first. So let's let's see what kind of units you got here. <clears throat> I mean, the demon fiend. I really think alpha fiend kind of sucks. I'm just gonna own up to it. But we don't have too many choices early on here. I I don't maybe suck is a bad word. I think it's overrated. 
But anything with a large stone is a little bit better. And we can still put imps in front of it. The question is, do we want you to be tankier or stronger? I actually think we benefit from you being much tankier. Which allows you to get more triggers for your... Uh, for your actual strikes. I'm just thinking about the way that I want to approach this. I think our train stewards are okay for now. Our torches are a little bit less critical um, because we have Glimmer to hit those units at the back. I mean, really, a, a Glimmer... Yeah, we like this. A Glimmer is a strictly better torch. It costs the same, but it, it hits more enemies and it hits our allies in a good way as well. So we definitely like it. Um, so the, the one thing that's important to note here is Alpha Fiend needs its own floor. So how do you want to set this up? Just think it. Just studying it. You know how dogs is and all that. We we do want Alpha Fiend out there early. Um, I think we'd rather double up on hitting you. Yeah. And we'll hopefully draw a Glimmer next turn to, to slow down the damage. We did not draw a Glimmer, which is stinky. Um, but everybody's living, except for them. <laughs> anyway. Um, make sure you're going out here. It doesn't really matter if you live. Um, let's give you the heavy consume here and, and pass on. Okay, so you, it doesn't matter. Our Pyre is going to take damage from hitting you, but so what? Um, I definitely think you like the Glimmer, which means you won't be playing the Rage, but it is what it is. You know, you know, you kind of sold me on this one. Ah, uh, I do want you to die, but I'm like... Man, you being down here would, would create one heck of a floor. But it, maybe it's better that you die before you do damage to our pyre. And uh, I, I don't think it's going to be a, a serious concern. We'll just stack up regen on you so we have uh, six turns of a lot of damage coming out on this guy. And he's not dead. This is going to help out a lot, dude. He's still not dead. Well, I mean, now, because we drew it again, we actually could get away with this, I think. And now you're super dead. Alright, so I, I really think that those descends are not that strong. I've come around on Ascend. I mean, I've, I've been low on it, I've been high on it, I've been all over with it. But uh, I've come around on it for sure. Um, but descends costing us so much is the dangerous part. I really think we, we prefer, like, another Wildwood Sap, honestly. The imps are not that relevant. Um, this this imp is pretty good, though. I, I, I really like the Molting Imp as basically being just like... I mean, it's just a strictly better vent <laughs> at the cost that I play it on, at least. And now we want to make our Rage spell cheaper. Um, <clears throat> this is a tough choice. I do think the Animus is, is very tempting to put the Rage on. And Quick doesn't scale as well. So I, it, it sucks for now. It Well, let me rephrase. It needs help for now, but uh, just its existence is pretty good. And I do think you spend on upgrading your Glimmers, but I definitely also think you reroll. I'm going to be honest, brother. Double stack for Rage 12. That's that's something. That I, I wanted to make it cost one. But costing two to b just be better is great as well. Let's make a torch remove itself. And, uh... <clears throat> I think we'll make our... We're not gonna... This is so situational to play. I think we may actually benefit from just making Glimmer zero cost. I, I don't think you lose on either of them. But I, I think that that's maybe more useful for us. Deal five damage on Slay at a... Well, five X damage on Slay deal... On Slay, add a permanent copy of this card to your discard pile. I don't think I want that. But you might be able to upgrade it later if it suits you. Okay, okay. Multi-strike one. On Extinguish, add a permanent copy of this. You know what? Give me the Rail Spike. I could always use a little bit more targeted damage. Um, maybe. And if it gets upgraded later, great. But, like, I just worry that we don't want that many of them in our deck, so we actually don't want to use it to slay that often. Maybe? I don't know. I have a feeling we're, we're going to have to put our money where our mouth is pretty soon. So you're doing 2-5, you're doing 7 damage. We can definitely put you here. 
We know we want an Alpha Fiend up here, and he, he can handle himself. Um, now, out of these, it's tough because I, 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 think, I think we like having the Animus out there the most. Because then we have the Rage target. Um, I would have loved to have played the, the Sap, but I think getting the Rage target out there earlier is a little bit more valuable. So we'll put the Rage on you. And all of a sudden, now you're crushing it. Um, and we're, we're slowing you down enough. I still don't think we have to heal you. Um, yeah, I think we'll, we'll put the Imp up here. Just to slow down the rise of that floor. We would love to heal our champion now, though. And we, we will be able to heal them. We'll also be able to put someone in front to tank a hit. Um, I mean, you're going to make it. I, I can't stop you at this point. I didn't get any targeted damage. Um, you're, you're doing great. We got nothing to concern ourselves with there. I think we'll do this. Okay, we did get some targeted damage. I think we will kill you. Why, why not? Why not get that score as high as possible, right? And forget the rage for now. Just, just go ahead and get another uh, heal in there. This feels pretty good. You guys are doing fine. The Glimmer is huge here. And then the Glimmer is huge again. <laughs> you're dead, which is awesome. And then I... You know what? While you're here, I'm like, we should put you on the bottom. And then... I, we, we couldn't have done anything with this anyway. It's just a question of whether we even want it in our discard pile. Right? Maybe we hold it and we consider it like... And I could be very wrong when I say this for the record, so just get ready. But I'm like, maybe we hold it almost as like a blight card. And then if we're going to have it enter our... Or duplicate itself in our deck later, we'd rather have it be upgraded first. I don't know if that's actually relevant here, but... Um, Alright, so I, I mean, you're, you're extraordinarily toasted. No, nobody's making it out of this alive. Let me let me put it that way. All right. And by nobody, I mean we're making it out alive. But all right, very very easy. I think we got a good setup here. Um, we got a rare pack. I for sure think you want multi strike. Uh, you have to find a way to cast it though. <laughs> Okay, I'm, I'm thinking about... I think we want the multi-strike. Um, I don't think anything's like perfect in here. But I think Brute Animus can make an incredible floor. The problem is you only have one capacity to put something in front of them. But I mean the same is true for any unit in the pile here. I, I still think you go brute. I don't. I think the branded warrior is a little trash, but I think you have to go energy um, by default, and you take that energy. Oh, we really wanted to make our spell cheaper. <laughs> I don't think we need more units just yet. Everything seems fine there. Um, so let's take our free relic. I do think we like wing clippings. We have we have two well we have three very good consume cards. Uh the sap and there's two of those and then the multi strike as well. So I'm just thinking could we take a is there a benefit to the mixed use here? I think I think that there is. Um there's also a benefit to dealing 30 damage, but if we can get draw and 15 damage, I think that's pretty good too. But it's going to take us a little while. Um, I think we can try this. It's going to take us a little while to make One Horn's Tome not a, a dead draw. <clears throat> Unfortunately. So you guys have haste. That sucks. But now, imagine that you do not have haste. Um, put you down here. I really think the play is still to play the Alpha Fiend, and we're going to try to descend it down here, I think. Which means we could put you down here as well, but I, I think we'll just start to do that instead. We get a lot of draw out of this. 
Um, we get Rage on this one. We don't get Rage on this one, but just work with me. We obviously want you to go. Um, I think we like it like this. And the reasoning is, we use this up here to get momentum. And then down here we can Glimmer. And the Glimmer gets us more uh, triggers because it also gets the damage done right here. Thanks to our champion ability. We definitely want Animus of Will. You guys are doing fantastic. So I think we just do a little double heal right here. And then we're going to get a bunch of draw anyway. Which is going to slow you down. And we got Glimmer again. It's all starting to come together. <laughs> I'm just wondering if I descend you now while we have a chance. We can probably afford to wait. Do we have two of those in our deck? We only have one. I still think we can afford the wait. Like, the Glimmer crushes, obviously. Um, I think we get away with this. Nice preserve. And this, which preserved as well. Now we got 11 regen, which is obviously fantastic. And you know what? Why not give me the rage here? That's going to make you take double damage. And I'm not sure. Are you dying on this floor? You are dying by one. Lucky us. Uh... So, we probably want to torch you, but we also want to rage you, so let's, yeah, so we're going to have to torch you. Yeah, it had to be done. It, it preserved, which I think is good, but I don't know now that I think about it. Um, just thinking what's better here. I think it's nice that you take a hit for us, and we're going to do a little bit more damage in the process. We must, I was going to say, we must be on brief respite. So, man, I would just love for you to not be here so that I could put you down here. Okay. I think uh, it depends how funky you want to get. Oh, we can't even summon you up here to then bring you down. I see. I see our I see our concern. Well, you know what? Why don't you why don't you chill out up here then? You need to take eight damage in the future. So this is this is a weird one. I'm gonna protect our pyre though. I must protect our pyre. And now there is no place for the deranged brute, but I I accept it and I live with it. Alright, what do you got? You still have haste, but you're dying, so that doesn't matter as much. Or at all. Um, so our, our, I would say our game plan appears to be working for the time being. You get a slay trigger? You don't. Okay, so let's just make sure you're dead. <clears throat> Done. I, I really thought that would be harder. So the free relic here is worth a lot. Isn't that plus two magic power? Plus three? It's it's okay. For sure. It, it's okay. I do think that focus growth is probably worth it. By the way, don't get me twisted up here. I actually don't think we need those. Um, don't get me twisted up here. I would much rather... Um, Remove some cards. We, we gotta remove some cards. We don't even have a spell. I, I, I want to cast one horn's uh, tome, dude, but you're not making it plausible for us. Okay, 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 okay. So you're going, hey, do you want to do a little uh, Sneko Eye? And I'm going to tell you, I think the answer for that is no right now. We'll take our cheaper merchant's costs. And I, I don't like the torches that much, but I think it's clear that our train stewards have, you know, overstayed their welcome at this point. Let's see. Multi-strike is, is an incredible uh, get. I think you definitely do put it on the Animus. And then you think. Because, you know, just giving you that is pretty good. But man, if we could give you... I mean, just giving you this is pretty good, right? But if we could give you a large stone... Man, oh man, that would go a long way too. So I feel like um, maybe we benefit from starting the Deranged Brute out a little stronger. And then taking our reroll. Quick was not what we're looking for. We're really looking for more damage. Um, so I, I don't think Quick does enough for us here. We could give you this. That allows you to weather the storm a little bit better. I, I think I'm okay with that. And then Spikes 4. You know, you, you could maybe get, put it on an imp, but I think you're paying money um, to essentially do four damage, which seems like a terrible deal to me. 
<laughs> oh, baby. We actually got to remove all of our train stewards there. Deck getting much more consistent. Um, take me down here. I think we're in a, a pretty solid spot. Enemy units enter with spell shield 2. I will not take that one. I think our spells are, are of the utmost importance. Okay. Just let me think about this one. I don't think there's too much to think about, to be fair. Um, I think you go Sentient at the front. Animus at the back. Then I, I do think you put the Molting Imp out there to eat one hit. Oh, you have Sweep. I'm glad I gave you HP then. And we'll put the Alpha Fiend up a floor. And I mean, this is pretty standard. This, this is how things seem to be here uh, for us right now. You... We could move you down, but I don't think there's any way for us to kill you. Even moving you down doesn't kill you. So, I think really part of our win condition, essentially... We need to find a way to get this Brute out there. We, uh... We really need to do this as soon as possible. So that we can get ahead of enemies faster. So now you're our problem. Um... I'm honestly like, maybe we descend you. <laughs> that can't be the right play. It can't be the right play to descend you. I don't know. It gives us an extra chance to... I This is a weird one, but just work with me. You are healing, which is not great. But we're getting an extra turn to deal with you or to place something up at the top that, that could slow you down. So on this floor, there's no question we like Glimmer the most for free. And you're, you're getting slowed down quite nicely, which is, is amazing. Um, you're dying. You're not taking any damage, which, which remains problematic. Um, Twenty-five. I, I do think it's worth torching you. This way, you're now in two-hit range on the pyre. And if you do eight damage to the pyre, quite frankly, nobody cares. So I'm not sweating that at all. Um... I do think you still get that out there. Now you're both dying. With only one remaining here? I'm like, I don't know, dude. I guess, like, uh, we can put you out there. To, you don't really take a hit because of sweep, but yeah, then why, why cast it? I don't know. We got the rage out of it. It's still worth something. So we know you're getting up there, and there's little we can do about it. Little we can do about it. Um, you're our super glimmer, so we're going to get that out right off the bat. I definitely think now we get out in front. Restore this, or take this guy down. Oh, this is, uh, this is messy. This is messy if you're the enemy team. If you're me, it's a beautiful thing. If you're the enemy team, you're in for a world of hurt right here. And a brief respite territory, you love to see it. All right, so now you're doing 200 damage per turn. We really want the deranged brute up here, and he's he's a great unit. He's a great unit. Then we want to have the ability to descend him on the next turn or the turn after. Well, it, the next turn because there's the boss. So you have eight turns of stealth, which is horrible. Um, but we have a lot of uh, regen. That I mean, did you see how much that just changed things for us? That's nuts. When we get one more capacity, I'm really thankful we took the energy in the first place, but when we get one more capacity, this thing's gonna come together in a big way. I truly believe it. It's a tough one because we can definitely, we have space to play this on our top floor, even on our second floor, um, behind the Demon Fiend. Alpha Fiend, that's it. Um, but we really don't need draw, so I'm... But is draw not always good to give you more choice, get through your deck a little faster? Yeah, yeah, I think it probably is. Um, but this is pretty good too, although we haven't had a problem really keeping our units alive, so... Yeah, maybe, maybe we'll take the draw on that one. None of these interest me enough, quite frankly. March of Shields is pretty good, but... I, don't, I think we have enough green that we don't need any armor. You're just not going to give me spell upgrades, so I'm never going to be able to cast uh, one horn. I think we'll go crystal caves this time. Well, what do we want to remove? Two torches. It would be good for removal, don't get me wrong. 
But I think the money is a little better in the future. Here's the thing. This is dead. We won't have enough money. This is not dead, but not worth that much. This is good. Here, this is good. Crystal caverns, which are actually concealed caverns. Who knows? Um, we definitely do not want Heartless. <laughs> um, we could upgrade a unit with plus 25. Yeah, why not? Why not? Um, I really think it, it does the best still on your Animus. Um, I think that was well worth it. We also could have had when your Pyre kills a unit, it heals. I, I think both of those are good. I'm not, I'm not insulting one by taking the other, in my opinion. And we really don't have anything to try to keep alive here. Unless you, you know... You know, spending 15 gold... I know I'm saying you know a thousand times a second here. Spending 15 gold... To uh, make that unit survive some hits and maybe even do some damage. That seems fine. That seems fine to me. Now, multi-strike is pretty good. But I think I'd rather just have you, you know, take some hits. And we'll save the rest of our money for the future. Because really, we don't want our imps to... We want our imps, when we play them, to die on turn one. In my opinion. Now, do we have a slight problem here. We want to kill all three floors. So we're going to play things a little differently than usual. Spell shield is not that bad. So I would say, um, we, we know we like the sentient on the bottom floor. You could give the sentient rage. I actually think I'm going to try you. Let's just put you here for now, because you are doing a lot of damage. But I'm like, dude, why not just have you get out of control? Could have done that in a different order for the draw. But, I mean, there, I don't think there's a downside to our champion uh, having the ability to actually do damage. No Glimmer is what hurts you here. No Glimmer is what hurts you. Uh, and our Alpha Fiend cannot play on the second floor, which is where things get a little touchy. So, we're going to put our Alpha Fiend on the top floor. We do need something to deal with you there. Um, this is a bit of a stranger one right now. But I think we want our Animus here, so that we actually clear the floor. And then with one energy remaining... Can't really deny, the faster you get the draw out there, the better it's gonna be. But we're actually, we're creating a situation where our Descends have the opportunity to actually accomplish something. Um, so you're taking 12 damage, which sucks, but on the other hand, uh, we're still feeling pretty good. Okay, so I, I like that a lot. I think that was a good start. For zero, <laughs> that was a pretty good start. Um, I don't think you take the Brute down. Although you could take the Brute down and then take the Animus on the next floor because the Animus is actually a little bit stronger right now. Um, I think we can get away with that. But it is our Pyre is going to run into some heat here, mostly from you. Um, this does do 23 damage. It would cost us so much to get it out there, though. I think it's more advantageous. It's tough. We could also just chill. For now. But I have to think it's kind of, that's kind of a brain-dead decision. 25 and you're at 100. It's tough. This this is like I'm I'm glad I'm not in Hell Rush right now. Let's just put it that way. Um, I think we accept that we're gonna. No, I don't think we accept. I think we decline. <laughs> Why don't you get in front and uh, and block a hit? I'd really prefer not to hit your encants. You do have an encant as well, but you're also... You're actually going to take a lot more as a result of this. Okay, so our Pyre is angling for some damage. That's not bad, really. I, I, I think it's acceptable. You need to take 45. Right now you're taking 48, so we can't really encant here. Um, what we could do, actually, I think this is pretty wise. 
We can take a hit for you, and you're getting much stronger when we choose to descend you in the future. Um, up here... Doesn't really make a big difference, because uh, the Glimmer is not going to kill anything, or really move the needle at all. I think we have Glimmer down here to get the extra damage. We do get Automatic Rail Spike, which I'm sure I'm irritating the Christ out of people by not uh, casting. But I'm telling you, <laughs> I stand by it. I stand by it. And if you're wondering why I'm not sweating this guy's HP, the dream is to descend him at some point. Even if he dies, which would admittedly be bad, but even if he dies, um, we did get value out of him by giving him the rage to use on, uh, or to, to help the Animus with. So you're dying. You're not dying. We need to find a way to hit you for 90, which is extremely not easy. Um, you are dying, which might mean, to be honest, I think it does mean, to be honest, that it's time for you to move downwards. You do lose the benefit of the rage on that, which is unfortunate. We definitely start here then, um, which did kill a unit. You're going to be dead. And you need the rage, for sure. Even though the rage does more if we're on the same floor with the brute, you have 4x multi-strike, which is exa that's exactly what had to be done there. I think we found the line. I honestly think we found the line. I feel very stable right now. So nothing's making it past the second floor right now. Um, this is a pretty simple setup, quite frankly. Probably use the small one on you. You do get harvested on that one. It doesn't matter. Dude, these keep preserving. That's amazing. Um, but this actually... Is this not healing you? Oh, it doesn't heal you yet. That's right. That'll get you. All right. We do need the descends, but... It's not urgent. In, in fact, I would say it's not even close to urgent. You have a slay trigger or a harvest trigger. Similar, but different. Um, I think we might as well heal you. And it, at this point, I, I think that the rage is nice, but the extra regen triggers is going to make us very, very tanky against this boss. Who is living? However, this is the moment of truth right here. Not Now not living. Who would have thought... Who would have thought 95 damage times 4 was enough to get that done? Alright. So we desperately need... Capacity. Capacity is a, is a dangerous issue. I really think Unleash the Wildwood is like really good, even though we've never won with it. Um, capacity is going to make our, our early game much more flexible. And lo and behold, the ability... Upgrade our spells to be cheaper. Finally, one horn's tome. We got you. Holdover. What do we like? I mean, to be real with you, uh, this is kind of amazing <laughs> to get every turn. Restore friendly units to full health every turn, and it replaces itself on draw. Is that better than our than our zero cost glimmer? Oh, we can't even do our zero cost glimmer. So sure, yeah, that that seems that seems pretty solid. Um, I think we'd rather just re-roll so that we know we have the money to make this uh, workable. And then we, we wouldn't mind consuming another torch. That's good use of our resources. So I'm wondering, like, do I ever get the upgraded version of uh, Rail Spike or did I, did I screw it up somehow? So would we rather have you have much more HP or uh, double damage on the Rejuvenate trigger? I think we can deal with less HP, because we can heal you to full every turn, or every other turn, or every sixth turn if we want to. The Historian. I really don't want your card in my deck at this point. Please just give me uh, something that will make our Pyre do almost... Well, right now it'll do literally no extra damage, but... Just wondering if the Rail Spike ever gets... Because I'm not casting it, it's basically a Blight card right now. You have Multi-Strike 1. I bet we could live, but I am I think it lowers our odds more when we turn it on. Let's put it that way. Let's put it that way. Does you really want some AoE here? I can't believe we actually got it. That's so disgustingly useful for us. Um, and honestly, like... 
You might make it a little further. I don't really want to cast these guys yet. Um, but we really have a dream first floor already. You're probably going to make it to the boss, but... Or to the pyre, I should say. I want the gold. But I, oh, but I need you to be stronger. Maybe I don't care that much about 100 gold. Maybe I care more about making sure that we make it out of this safely. You know what I mean? I mean, this is like... Yeah, that, that changes the game for us. You have to go. But you're going to die in one hit, which is acceptable, I think. Um, so I think... Hold, just hear me out here. We love this. 18 damage. We love this. We like this. Let's try this. Why not? Why not? So very little is going to be able to make it out of this first floor. I, and I love it. I love it for that. But hear me out here. Unleash the Wildwood every single turn. Oh, baby. You now have even more multi-strike. Oh, baby. We are taking quite a lot of damage, honestly, but um, I guess I suppose that's okay. I guess we'll, we'll pull 24 damage off of this. But then again, why do I care? Because we heal to full every turn, as long as we play the... As long as we play this. <laughs> it's ridiculous. And then, okay, we, we do want to play Glimmer. Or maybe we don't care about playing Glimmer anymore. And now you're doing 87 damage by 5, which is, uh, you know, pretty good. Pretty good. We could have brought Alpha... In fact, we, if we draw it again, we still can bring Alpha Fiend down. Nobody else... I mean, I guess you, you could use HP. Enjoy your HP. Not that you need it at all. And what do you do? Are you, are you stopping us somehow? You are. You're only taking 644. I'm a little surprised. Um, we know that we want that. Now you're taking 1,000. Which is extremely sick. Not being able to hit the units at the back is really what's what's killing us here. Um, we do best with just more regen triggers, honestly. So we're actually going to have to fight for this one. But I, I'm not being facetious when I say like this was some of the worst draw we could have gotten. And we're still completely fine. Because we just play that and now you're dead. Yeah. Um, or that. Or, you know, we can also get that. So now we got a little multi-strike. By the way, you heal the full. And it, that was really the worst draw. It's going to take a lot for me to mess up my deck here. I definitely think none of those had made any difference at all. So we want free stuff because we have no money. Um, there is free removal. There's also free duplication. I don't... Uh, duplicating the Animus doesn't interest me, because we want to stack up everything on one Animus. Honestly, duplicating Ritual of Battle might be enough to get me over in this direction. Even more so than the removal. Even more so than the extra multi-strike. We do have 70. We can't afford a Relic, but we can afford... Honestly, like, this one being cheaper is probably best. And then a consume on our other torch. Yeah, alright. I don't know if we're gonna win, um, but I feel very good. I feel like we were, we're on the level right here. Um, and he has sap. Sap hard counters our animus, which is our super kill unit, but only until we get rage. Once we get the rage out there, the sap is no longer that relevant. You do have... You, no Ember Drainers? I, I really don't know how these work, so I apologize, but... Uh, no Ember Drainers? So I think we just play the way we... We play as if we have the best run we could ever ask for, right? So just hear me out. You definitely go the Ranged Brute. And then you go Animus at the back. I would like to heal you, but let's wait. And we'll put Alpha Fiend up here. This is the way we want our floors to look. We didn't get the draw we wanted. Life goes on. We, we just basically want a glimmer. And we got a glimmer. 
So we'll start... Uh... It's tricky to rock a rhyme that's right on time. It's tricky. I think we start here and see what we draw. And then up here, the glimmer does more for us. You're probably going to make it to the pyre, and I accept that. I think we definitely want both of you guys to go. Um, I would have honestly preferred if they didn't preserve. And I think we'd early on, we'd really like to just get more draw. So we are playing with our pyre health a little bit. But I'm okay with it. And we're actually, like, dying on this one. <laughs> Our champion now is living. Okay, hold on. This is where it's, it's supposed to start to come together. We should still be okay for a minute here. Just just work with me, okay? You gotta get out there. All of a sudden, okay, this is... It, we're, we're starting. We still also need one of you to go, so we take a lot less damage. Although we will heal, I think, to full every time. Um... 44. I'm trying to think if there's any way I can finesse this a little bit, but I don't think so. Um, we may do best with a little bit more regen here. I don't think that changed anything at all, actually. But then, you know, why not? Why not? All right, so we put up a we've we've dammed up the river. Nobody's making it out of the bottom floor. So as long as our pyre lives through the first two. <laughs> The first two uh, waves that made it through, I'm not sweating it too much. So we need a few things here. We want something that can kill you. We also want something that could kill you, ideally. But you will die in one pyre hit as well. So, I would definitely start with this, just to see what you draw. Uh, glimmer is kind of like, it's your beautiful play, right? So what do, you, what do you do with your Glimmer? I will say it does something for us up here. It does more for us down here. But keeping our pyre from taking as much damage as possible is is maybe a little bit more precious. Now, I also think you have to get stacked as much as possible. The fact that you're... How much do we do? We do three extra. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I kind of like keeping you here for now, just in case a unit makes it up, or the Seraph summons a unit here. We could descend you. It's... Probably worth it, honestly, but then you would live. Um, so, I'm just working on it. Just working on it. You guys get healed to full every single turn. So, I think we heal you and then kill you with the rail spike. We do have a lot of rail spikes now, but we also have so much draw. And the rail spikes we can play for zero and they'll do three damage. This is a little trickier than I thought it would be, but I still think we're in an amazing position. As long as this unit doesn't have... As long as the boss doesn't have sweep, <laughs> I think we might be okay. Alright, you're doing 135 damage by 4. Probably don't need me to tell you how I feel about that. It's pretty solid. You're dying. Um, I don't know if I want any more rail spikes. I think I would maybe just prefer... Our, our current situation as is. And our bottom floor is looking looking juicy. I mean, it's really hard to compete with heal to full every single turn. Taking 350. Finally, we get these out there. Man, if, you, if only you had even some damage. We would have nothing to worry about with this guy. We can still get him. It's just uh, it's the principle of the matter. Okay, so we, we want you to hit even more often. It's just stupid. Like, it's stupid how strong you've gotten. Um, we, we would have preferred, quite frankly, if that didn't preserve, but I don't think we can be beaten here. It will take the final boss. I mean, obviously, because we're already here. Um, so you probably start with a free Glimmer. Probably follow that up with a free Unleash the Wildwood. And you're dead. But it's not over yet. Because we still got those. All right. Dude, we got two wins in a row. How about that? How about that? Two wins in a row. Oh, my God. The universe is collapsing. 
That was a, just a great run front to back. We found... We, we took some larks on some... On some cards that we were not able to play and made it happen regardless. Two wins in a row and Covenant rank 14 is in the books, boys. That's I'm feeling pretty good. The, now that I understand the rage build a little bit more, I'm, I'm doing a lot better. Add a copy of the Allied Clan starter card to your starting deck. I, I do not want the gold rail spike. I would like to move the rail spike back if possible. And we have moved into sole possession of second place on our leaderboard with Sinvicta. For now, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. If you watched all 45 minutes, I know you liked the video. Please do click the like button. It helps me out more than you can imagine. For now, though, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. See ya!